Hello folks, Infosec Gurung here. I hope you're doing good and are safe right now. So this is our step three and uh, for the new people here, uh, we are building a text editor in C and you can go check out the intro and the step one and step two video and then continue with this fine. We're in the entering raw mode uh, step and uh, let's try and read key presses from our user and uh, okay cool so let's add the lines to our kilo.c and uh, okay so it's hash include std uni std dot h and uh, then we have our character char c while um, read std in file no um, ampersand c comma one is equal to is equal to one and then a semicolon which is pretty pretty important fine so we can save this and uh, let's just see the concept behind it okay so uh, read an std in file number or no uh, comes from uni std dot h header file so we are asking the read function to read one byte from the standard input into the variable c and to keep doing it until there are no more bytes to read okay so std uh, is the default data stream for input from the command line and its value is zero okay and uh, cool now there are uh, things uh, called file descriptors which are non-negative numbers okay and those are associated with the files that are open uh, the thing to remember is that everything in uh, in Linux is a file okay and uh, each process uh, deals with a file in our Linux operating system so each has its own FD which is unique per process right and uh, 0 1 and 2 are standard FDs that correspond to, correspond to um, standard input standard output and standard error fine now from the man page uh, why I'm telling this is because uh, we need it um, to uh, we'll need it as an aid to our uh, to know more about the read function okay what happens here is that we are taking a byte from the standard input okay into our variable uh, c okay and uh, the size is one so uh, this means that Okay, so let's read the theory and uh, si size um, underscore t then uh, the read function and then this is the basic syntax in which there is an integer ft then there is a void uh, pointer uh, buffer and then there is the count right then read read attempts to read up to the uh, to count bytes from file descriptor ft into the buffer starting at buff um, in my own words, I tried to simplify this and uh, what we can get from this is that our buff pointer, okay, is it's a pointer to a variable and here it is a C, okay. Um, okay, which points to the variable's address space. Now the thing is that when we add an ampersand here, it's now directly pointing to the uh, C's ad, um address space okay 
and now count accepts the number of bytes to the uh, buffer and ft is the file descriptor that's fine now we have this int ft is basically a uh, um, stdin file no and file no is basically our zero okay so we can just write simply zero here and that's again fine okay um, so the thing right now is that our read function is reading a file from the command line okay and it's reading one byte now that one byte is getting stored in our c uh, variables address space okay and the thing to note is that our read returns our read function returns the number of bytes that it has read now since it is reading only one byte so this all uh, will be equal to one and if one is equal to one then our while loop will continue i hope this kind of makes sense okay and uh, we'll run this make kilo okay so now whatever we type here is here and uh, if you press enter then we go to the next line and same now we can also have backspaces and do anything right and that's fine um, in order to exit I press ctrl C okay um, however by default the terminal starts in canonical mode also called cooked mode in this mode the keyboard input is only sent to your program when the user presses enter so this is useful for many programs that's fine we can even use backspaces to fix errors that's fine but it doesn't work for programs with more complex user interfaces like text editors we want to process each key press as it comes so that we can respond to it immediately fine now what we want is raw mode and uh, okay so we need to work something um, in order to have the raw mode okay now that's fine and uh, this uh, so I researched a bit on raw mode versus uh, canonical mode and this is what I have uh, condensed to so in cooked mode the terminals commands can be edited before executing it right so that means that if I execute kilo right now i can do i can write type anything right and i can even uh, delete using backspace and if i only press enter then this gets processed by the kilo uh, by the read function behind uh, working behind uh, our kilo program okay and we can modify it all before executing the command the computer won't know about it okay so the computer doesn't know that I suppose I write here monkey and till now the computer doesn't know about it but suppose I change it to donkey and press enter okay the computer now knows that we type donkey but it didn't it doesn't know that earlier it was monkey okay I mean that's like a fancy example now in raw mode the terminal sends each character it gets to the computer so it, so even if you press a backspace to edit strings the computer knows about it now the thing is that suppose i type um, ast okay and i delete d and press f now when we were uh, when the terminal is in raw mode the terminal we know will know that we pressed uh, ast and then we pressed a uh, uh, backspace okay which deleted the letter d and then um, on top of it we wrote f so that way um, the computer the the editor will know about it and we don't even need to press enter for that fine but right now we need to press enter so that our, our text editor reads it um, I think that's it for this part um, you can check out the links and I'll also show you the man page for a read function from where I got that okay and yeah this is the thing and uh, okay so on success the number of bytes read is returned and that is what I had written here as well that uh, okay I had not written it's written here 
read returns the number of bytes that it read okay um, okay we're done for step 3 now we can go to step 4